Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God all the praise. Let God be praised forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. May the Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with the child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is such a beautiful day today, you know. <laughs> it's such a beautiful day. And the Lord said, there is somebody there. This is a prophetic word. Why they are feeling so confused about you and angry is because you refuse to walk against yourself. What does it mean to walk against oneself? They expect you to doubt yourself. They expect you to accept that something is wrong with you. They accept you, they expect you, they expect you to accept what they want you to expect. Accept what they want you to accept. Hallelujah. I'm sorry for my words. Now, you refusing to accept what they want you to accept, it is a win for you. And it is a loss for them. So because when you accept what they want you to accept, that means that you are working against yourself. So this is the problem because you refuse to work against yourself. How can someone work against his own self? You know, I do tell us every time that you are your own number one fan. Whatever you find yourself doing in life, you are your first fan. You are the one to cheer yourself up first then people will not join to cheer you. So if you said, oh, I cannot make it, I cannot do this, everyone will be looking at you. Oh, you said you cannot look it, make it. You know, the fact that you hold on to yourself, you hold on to what God has spoken concerning you. You refuse to compromise. You refuse to work against your own self. Right that you choose to build your own. You choose to build yourself. Even when no one believes in your journey, it's okay. But what matters is that you believe in your journey and God is helping you in the journey. So because when they don't believe in your journey, they will want to do things that will make you to start doubting your journey. Accepting defeat. When you accept defeat out of God, it means that you are working against yourself. Why? Because it, to fail is not the issue. But yielding to failure is the issue. When yielding, when you submit to failure and say, ah, I just fell, I can't stand up. That is where the issue is. But the fact that you can still get up, you dust yourself, you get up, you dust yourself, you get up, you dust yourself, you get up, it means that you have a winning spirit. So the enemy wants us to be down when we fall. They want us to be broken when we fall. They, they don't want us to rise. So when we fall, they are happy. So they just want that to, for us to use that failure, hold their failure and start using that as a yastic for us not to get up, not to move forward, for us to start working against ourselves. Why are they so mighty out of God? You are building your life. You are building your life. I pray for you, you will not work against yourself. You become your number one orphan. Yeah. You become your one, your number one orphan. Let them stay mad while you stay winning. It is where we say Jesus love you, and I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again.